Raleigh from RaleighRealEstate.com telling all you first time home buyers out there to know your score. FICO score that is. A FICO score is a number used by most lenders to determine your credit risk. Information from your creditors is sent over to the three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion, and this generates a number between 300 and 850. So the higher the better. Let's go over what you need to know that positively and negatively affects your FICO score. Payment history is weighted the highest by lenders. They consider that if you have paid your debts on time in the past, that you will continue to do so in the future, therefore lowering your credit risk. Having a balance on an account isn't necessarily a bad thing. However, for credit cards, make sure to keep the balance under 50% of the total credit limit. Even though people who do not have a long credit history may have a high FICO score, typically, the longer your credit history, the higher your FICO score. A small portion of your FICO score considers the mix of credit you have open. For example, credit cards, retail accounts, mortgages, and other financial loans. Typically, a more diversified mix means a higher score. In general, you do not want to open too many new accounts at the same time. Lenders might see this as high risk activity, so try not to open more than one new account per quarter, or even better, per year. Although lenders look at many different factors in making a decision, by being an educated buyer and knowing your FICO score, and knowing what affects your FICO score, this will set you up to be in a position to obtain a favorable mortgage. For more information on FICO scores and credit information, send me an email or give me a call and make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Marley with MarleyRealEstate.com and I will guide you on your buying and selling journey.